What does it mean to give up on God? Does that mean blatantly turning your back on God and telling Him no and walking away from Him? Could be. That's one of the ways, at least. But that's not the, the only way that we, we give up on God. You see, when the Lord sends you on an assignment or on a mission, He gives you instructions to do something which you agreed upon, mind you. And you embark on this journey. And you get to the place that the Lord sends you to. Or you're where you're supposed to be. You're on God's trajectory. Everything starts off pretty good. Once you get there, that place also has a ton of realities and issues and problems and things going on. So what happens is, at first, we're really strong on God's mission and everything. But then, we allow the circumstances around us, the issues, the hurdles, and the realities of that particular place to overtake us, to weigh so much on us, and we start focusing on what's going on left and right, to the point that we start making decisions based on the realities of the place and not realizing that we're gradually taking our eyes off of God's initial mission what he told us what he wants to achieve with us which is the reason why he sent us to this place in the first place and now we're making decisions and moving forward with things that we're feeling from the environments that we're in now and uh, because of that we start making decisions and decisions and going on living God's initial plan and target and mission on the back burner when we realize it's been a while that we haven't checked with the Lord or done anything based on what he wants or what he initially wanted. That's a way on giving up on God because by doing that, we're giving up on his vision. We're giving up on what he wanted to do initially because we're not walking on the same path anymore. Now we're trying to do other things. And we have good intentions, what we man will call good intentions. But according to they're good intentions according to us. They're not God intentions. You see, only God intentions can bring freedom, can bring deliverance, can bring salvation, can bring healing, can bring restoration. Because He knows the end goal. He knows what He's doing. He knows what He takes to get there. Now, we're not doing things through His lenses anymore because we're using our own eyes, we're using our own feelings. And we're trying to solve some problems that we see need to be solved. Which in itself is not bad, but it's drifting away from what God wants to do. And it's a way of giving up on His vision because it's not being taken care of anymore. And so the Holy Spirit just reminded me of that. And of course, I immediately repented from it and asked Him to forgive me. I'm saying this because if you are in the same position, if this is your case also, join me in praying and asking the Lord to uh, forgive us and to bring us back on the right path because we want to finish what we've started with Him. I think I've done that this past couple of days. I allowed maybe one or two things to cloud my focus. And uh, that's why the Lord reminded me of it. And thank God for the Holy Spirit. Because without Him, <laughs> we will be so far. And so, that's what I wanted to share with you today. And let's always remind ourselves that we're on a mission. And that mission is to serve the will of God. Whatever that is. Thank you very much, fellas. It was a
a pleasure being with you today. May the peace of the Lord remain with you. And remember, Yeshua is always on the throne of glory. So all is well. Shalom.